kind of uh, SEO here at 100% uh, Design. I think what we'll start with probably is, is rusty hinge and bracket. Rusty is um, a, an aged and oiled steel product where we artificially age it over the course of three or four days uh, in a very special top secret process. And then um, we oil it uh, with a hard wax oil. All that does is that stops the rusting process at the point that we want to, so we get the patina that we like. And I'm going to demonstrate before, white t-shirt. After, white t-shirt. Got that? So we're going to talk a little bit here about Eskimo's hinge and bracket system, which, um, without being too big headed, is the world's first fully concealed thermostatic valve system. If you think of a radiator, they look great in catalogues, they look great at shows like this, but then you get them home, you have them plumbed in, the plumber probably puts a dog leg of pipe going all over the place, they put nasty valves on, and it essentially ruins the lines of an otherwise beautiful product. This is what your radiator will look like. When it's installed, it won't look any different than this. This is what you get. And what we do, you can you probably just hear that click there, which is the push to open latch, uh, which, uh, which you just engage, opens up the product, and it comes on a couple of gas struts here. I don't know if you could get in there and just see the, uh, the stainless steel hinges that we put at the top of the radio. So that just brings it out at the top. And it's available on any of our products from 430 millimeters high, which is this product, that's height of product, that's 431 meters high, up to this height of product, which is two, mm, two meters tall, 2,000 millimeters. Uh, each pipe comes out of the wall 200 millimeters in from the side face to the pipe center, and then 130 millimeters up from the bottom of the radiator to the pipe center. Final connections are made using a couple of stainless steel braided hoses. All of this incidentally, obviously, except for the pipes, is supplied with the radiator. I don't know, again, there's two ways of doing this. One is how we've done it here, where you have the valve, the thermostatic valve, and this is the thermostatic valve head here, and you can adjust it to, to get to the right temperature of the room. The other place you can put that, which is probably a little bit more accessible than we're showing here, you can put the thermostatic valve head here. So this will be coming off this point here, and then finally the hose connection goes from there to the radiator. On the other side, you have the lock shield valve. You see there's a roller catch there, which is, uh, this is the push to open latch mechanism that just holds the radiator closed. When you're installing this, you need to make sure that that hook there engages as closely as possible as it can with that roller latch. So it wants to be right over hard against that roller latch there. I'm just going to put that in the open position again now to just show you as I close the radiator. And that's it. And so you're left just with this very simple, geometric, beautiful shape of your lovely radiator hinge and bracket. So we've got, you know, old faithful brushed stainless steel, beautiful thing there with its um, with its towel rails as well. You can specify wherever you put them. You can have as many as you like and put them at whatever spacing you like. So that's that brushed stainless steel. New product for this year is Brassy. Which is called Brassy because it's made of brass. Um, and then you have uh, Mighty Magnus, which is uh, our uh, patinated copper. If you pop around here, I will show you lovely Ron. I'll tell you a little bit about Ron. Ron's um, uh, available in six different heights. Uh, this is its lowest height, which is 200 millimeters. It ends up 400 millimeters, 600 millimeters, one meter, 1.5 and 1.8. And it's, um, it's available in again, lots and lots of different finishes, gold and polished aluminium, bead blast aluminium. Uh, and it's floor mounted, wall mounted, can have towel rails, just, just have a quick look over my shoulder up there. Um, you can see how we can fit towel rails on them as well. Let me tell you about Woody. Woody is the world's first wooden radiator. Would that work? Yes, it would. Um, basically, so uh, we've had lots of questions about where lots of people say, you know, um, will it work for bathrooms or 
uh, you know, humid environment. Well, the first thing we did with this before we launched the product was we uh, we tested it in a in a humidity cabinet essentially, where we had it in there and uh, we kept spraying water at it every 20 minutes. We'd let that water dry off. We'd heat the whole thing up, cool it down again, heat it up, cool it down, spray it every 20 minutes. And then after six months, we decided that was okay. We release the product, absolutely no movement in any of the joints, it doesn't delaminate. It basically can live with the most rotten environments known to man for a bit of wood and still live up to all of that. Let's talk about the Holy Rail. Let's talk about the Holy Rail. Let me talk to you about the town rails a little minute. If you look in a catalogue, it'll say it gives out a thousand watts. As soon as you hang a towel over it, it stops giving out that 1,000 watts, so that radiator that you've just bought for your bathroom that's supposed to heat up your bathroom now no longer works, because it's got a load of, essentially a load of, you know, um, might as well put a blanket over the thing. It's going to stop all the heat coming out of it. it. might keep your towels warm, but it no longer keeps your bathroom warm. And that's the problem about it doesn't work in those dual functions. The Holy Rail, on the other hand, does. The principle is you've got the radiator at the back, and then in front of that, you've got the towel, uh, the towel warmer. The towel, and those two functions are complementary. They don't oppose each other in this product, okay? Uh, again, that comes with hinge and brackets. So if you don't want to see any valves, you know, which and that's, I think with that sort of a product, you don't, uh, you can do that with hinge and bracket. Magnificently named Dusky Moonstress, which is again a patinated brass in, uh, well, kind of quite dark tones, which she is, isn't she? She's, moody but uh, she'll keep you happy even so um, super mirror stainless steel uh, which again we fitted with our hinge and bracket design here just to show you how that works lastly again this is this kind of old favorite it's a paper clip you imagine that giant paper clip and it warms towels only 45 watts heat output when you've got a towel rail like this what you want to do is keep it on all the way through the summer warming the towels so you don't want it to have a very high heat output you want it to have a low uh, power usage, so uh, it's an entirely different function. That's the thing about confusing those two towel rail and radiator functions, they're different things. That's probably all I've got to say about Eskimo right now, but um, you know, have a look around and enjoy yourselves while you're here.